So there I was, carrying all this spray paint on my way to not tag up the local courthouse when the unthinkable happened. I couldn't carry all the paint. But fortunately, 3D printing and 3D modeling provides important solutions to everyday problems. What does that workflow look like? Let's get started. We'll assume that all of our cans have a diameter of 2.6 and a height of about 8. We'll need to start the design process in CAD. I'm using a Libre in this example, and I'll start by creating a sketch. Next, I'll move a plane out to where we want the can's center to be, and I'll create an axis from the two intersecting planes to mark the center. We can use the sketch we made and use the axis we made as the center and create a helix around the axis. Now we can revolve around the same axis and then mirror the helix so it goes around both sides. After that, I can pattern what we've made. I'll mirror the pattern, then mirror the whole thing. There are some faces left over from patterning that I'd like to get rid of. This is quite easy with the remove face option. I'll also want to create a handle. I can create a sketch on one side and a sketch in the center and loft between the two, and then mirror. From here, I'll create an ellipse and extrude a base for the cans to rest on. Now if I prefer, I'll create fillets everywhere so the whole carrying case is smooth. So let's talk about printability now that we have this. As you can tell, I have a sharp edge here, and that is so we do not require support material since the printer can make this angle without supports. I do have some fillets here and this will require support because that is quite the overhang. So let's talk about configuring support when we export this for the slicer. If we want to export this for 3D printing, we'll want to have a mesh format and I would recommend STL. We'll say file, export, STL. And we have several options here. You can always go with the defaults or we can select our own normal deviation. For instance, I might want this to be two degrees. I might want my surface deviation to be something like 0 0.05, 0 0.05, and so on. We can make an STL exported to our own specifications, or we can just go with the defaults. I'll be printing this on a bamboo, and I can simply drag and drop my file. And we'll want to set this on the right face, just like that. And then we'll want to ask about support material, right, and layer height. So maybe I want this to have a more coarse layer height. We can come over here and change that. I also can go to support material, make sure that support is enabled. And I do have an option to custom paint on my supports here if I wish. Right, I can add supports whoop, on the bottom where there's some overhangs where I can right click and undo where I put supports. Or I can also tell it, hey, maybe something after 30 degrees will do supports and we'll slice plate. Right, and then from here we can just vary how much support material we can use or need, and when we're all ready, we can send this to the printer. Again, I'm using a bamboo printer for this. Let's see how it turns out. Well, having this printed has really changed my life and now I can live life to the fullest. Anytime I can go anywhere with my paint and not have to worry about dropping it, and then I can go and not put graffiti on the local police station or anything like that. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And this model was actually inspired by something from Thingiverse. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Thanks for watching.